Hi, hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simply Tara. Okay, another special message. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces. So if you have Pisces in your birth chart, this may be for you. These are timeless unless I say otherwise. If they do not resonate with you, don't try to make them fit your life. Only take away what resonates and leave the rest. Oh, okay. Do it again. One more time. Okay. Special message for Pisces, please. Special message for Pisces. Special message for Pisces. We got the Queen of Swords up. Eight of Wands. Special message. Special message. Special message for Pisces, please. Special message for Pisces, please. Special message for Pisces. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Six of Swords. King of Cups. Two of Swords, and over here, Page of Wands. Okay, this is all about someone wanting to speak to someone or say something to someone. You know, that's what I'm getting. You know, with that, the Eight of Wands, well, first off, this person, you know, it's like they have learned a lot through life lessons. <laughs> you know, it's had a, a rough life, the Queen of Swords. But with this Eight of Wands, you know, I'm, I'm getting swiftness. Um, there's a sense of, of moving swiftly for fulfillment, yes. Um, hope it's like a hope for progress um, it's like someone wanting to take action someone wanting to communicate yeah you know it's like someone wanting to move forward with the six of swords feels like with their life. Then we've got the King of Cups here. You know, it's like someone's making a decision to communicate. Because there's a sense of wanting to move forward in their life. And it's like something happened. on the bottom. Yeah, something happened between these two people. This is a higher power, the emperor. And it's like someone, you know, they, they've been being the hermit. You know, it's like they've been being the hermit. They've been they want to follow their path and they want to go forward. That's what I'm getting, yes. With their life. After something terrible happened. For one of these people, they want to go forward in their life. That's what I'm feeling from it. Do we need any more for Pisces? Do we need any more for Pisces? It's like someone, they've just been really hurt and they want to go forward. 
Okay, we've got someone else involved. A Queen of Wands taking on that energy. Okay, yes. Okay, for some of you. Now, it's changing. Okay, that was for some of you. For some of you others, this is an energy of needing to cut something from your life. These are the two people, and it's like someone needs to cut something from their life. A tower fell. There's, you know, it's like still got that sense of wanting to move forward in life. But something has to end. Something has to end. You know, we've got lovers here. Um, feels like a soul connection. Very close. Yes. Very close. You know, someone's wanting to move forward quickly. They want to move forward quickly. You know, it's like someone's all in their head. And... They think about love. Someone thinks back about the love with these two. Because this is a strong connection. Someone, um, someone definitely wants to say something to someone. They want to tell them something. It's one of these two people wants to tell the other something. But that sword is here also. It's about, you know, that is the sword of truth. Um, sometimes, you know, things have to be cut away out of our life in order to move forward, in order to see growth in our life. Something has to be cut away. You know, it's like someone's holding on to someone's energy one of these two and it's because it's it feels like a soul connection but it needs you know something somebody needs to move forward somebody wants to move forward it feels like page of swords someone's watching someone i just got the word spy seven of cups someone is consumed their head is consumed and what it is is its memories it's like they just are consumed by this do we need more can you tell us more can you tell us more can you tell us more five of cups You know, this, I'm also getting ego from this and, and a look at inner self, but, you know, Five of Cups being here, this is, it's like someone is dwelling on the past. Someone is, they just can't get past the past. And someone else wants to move forward. Someone else wants to go on with their life, it feels like. It feels like there was a tower moment and someone just wants to go forward. They want to cut these ties and go forward and someone else doesn't want that there's that feeling because they can't it's like they, they've not let go of the connection they can but you know soul connections you, you may not never completely let go of um, they may always be with you but you know some soulmates are just here to teach us something teach us lessons or something about ourself or help awaken us. Yeah, it's the ending of a journey. Another journey is beginning. Something is time. The time has come. Yeah, I'm seeing a clock. Tick tock. The time has come. It's something. A journey. It's time for a journey to end and one to begin. It's like there's choice you know, um, you know, it's it's all free will. Uh, these two could very well pick it back up and start new together. It's all up to free will. Someone is guarding this connection. 
Do we need any more? Do we need to know anything else? Yeah. See there. Look, we got the death card. Something has to end. Either this connection, this has to end. What's happened? Or either ways, patterns that's led to this point. If these two can pick it back up and start over with a new beginning. You know, and someone is constantly thinking about how this is about to end. And they want to come back together with someone. They want to balance things out. That's what I'm getting. Okay, we're going to take an angel romance. And we're going to see what the angels have to say. They may shed some light for someone. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. That's for someone. Either you are a cross watcher and you have to put yourself where you belong. Drawn to the bottom. Yes, this is your soulmate. Separation. Time apart. From your partner is on the horizon. This situation involves marriage. I feel like this is for the last part of this. Now the pay attention to red flags, I don't know. It could be. It could be for e either, it feels like. Okay. I was thinking for the first part of this. So, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and I'm drawn to this one attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment and this one chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so I don't know who you know I feel like this is for many people uh, if it doesn't resonate with you don't try to make it fit your life but give it a thumbs up that way YouTube will move it on alone, and whomever needs to see it can see it. And, um, yeah. Till next time. Bye.